this is what I find. So I'm asking them to interpret that the Quran and the Bible, they both agreed that Jesus Christ was not born on the 25th of December. So what is, what is the evidence? So the evidence is, I said, you see, when Jesus was born, according to the Gospel of St. Luke, mm -hmm. chapter 2, verse 8, mm -hmm. it tells us that at night the angels came and they found shepherds out in the field and the shepherds were told that the child is born to a woman in Bethlehem. Good news about the birth of Jesus Christ. The shepherds were out in the field. And 25th of December is midwinter in Palestine. No Jew will be so foolhardy, should be so foolish to be out in the open air in the field with his flock. He will freeze to death and his flock will freeze to death. So it must have been a warm evening for people to be out in the field, not midwinter, yeah. the coldest day of the year, not that. Then the Holy Quran also suggests the same. In Surah Maryam, ayah number 25, it tells us that when the child was being born, a voice was heard, an angel of the Lord, telling her, he says, look, the date palm, you are under the date palm, he says, shake the palm leaf and it will let fall fresh ripe date. So fresh ripe date, I think the Arabs, you don't have to prove to the Arabs, you know, that you need midsummer to produce ripe dates. For to be so ripe as if you shake it and it let fall the dates. So it was midsummer, says the Quran, and the Bible suggests also midsummer. But you are celebrating midwinter. Where did you get this? <laughs> So, in other words, now this is, to me, is a most uh, natural way, beautiful way of proving your point from his own book and from yours. I so I'm supporting you, but now you people have just gone off the track and you're celebrating the 25th of December, which is not the birth of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was not born on the 25th of December, according to the Quran and the Bible. In the Bible we are told, that when Jesus was born, the shepherds were out in the field with their flocks at night. And Palestine is in the northern hemisphere. In winter, in midwinter, 25th of December, it is as cold as Mary England. So, if the shepherds were out in the field in midwinter, like this, in the field, the shepherds would freeze to death and the sheep would freeze to death. <laughs> So, if the shepherds were out in the field, it would not have been in December, number one. Number two, the Holy Quran tells us that when Jesus was born, Mary, his mother, she had retired to a remote place in the east. And when the child was born, what was her telling her that there is a river here, wash yourself and refresh yourself and get hold of a palm leaf and pull towards herself and shake it and it will let fall fresh right dates, dates, you? it will let fall. So when will you have fresh right dates on palm trees that you can shake them down? In summer, mid-summer, not mid-winter. <laughs> so from the Islamic authority, we know it would not be December, and with the Christian authority, we know that it was not December. So you are commemorating the birth of a sun god, not the son of God. See the primitive man, in this northern region, in the Mediterranean region, as winter approached, you could see the sun going backward and back, backward in the southern hemisphere, receding from them, receding. And day by day it started getting colder and colder, 28th of December, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, it's getting colder and colder, and there was only five days as the devil trying to swallow the sun the happenings in the heavens, astronomically, that the devil was following the sun, and by the guilty days, they felt, they could see the primitive man, they could see every little different variation in temperature, they could feel and relate to some other happening. They said, you see, now the, uh, the, the prince of darkness, the devil, has been overcome by the sun, and the sun is reborn, it is born again, the sun, Coming back into its own 25th, 26, 27, getting warmer and warmer and warmer. So 25th of December was the turn of the tide. 
in the heavens. So the sun is being born. Sun, the sun, not the son of God. So this is a pagan holiday. The pagans had a holiday. And since the Christians came on the scene, they saw that these people were commemorating around that day. So they adopted that day and they started celebrating Christmas. If we really knew, I said we would have no hesitation in commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. But 25th of December is not. I read this verse to you from the Holy Quran, from Surah Ali Mirage, chapter 3, verse 47. Where when the good news was given to Maryam about the birth of the Holy Son, she said, قالت ربي أن يكون لي ولد ولم يمسس لي بشر. She says, Oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? So the angel says, in reply, قالت ذلك لم يخلق ما يشاء. So even so, Allah creates what He wills. إذا قال أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون. So whenever He decrees a matter, He merely says to it. Be and it is. This is the most concept of the Buddha Jesus. The 25th of December. Because, we said, Jesus Christ was not born on the 25th of December. If we knew his exact date of birth, as we commemorate Mila, the birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa I said, why should we not celebrate the birthday of Jesus? Don't we believe in him? Don't we? We do. Why are you afraid to say yes? <laughs> we do believe in Jesus Christ as one of the mightiest messengers of God, as the Messiah, the Messiah. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe in his many miracles, including those of giving life to the dead by God's permission, of healing those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. If you say you don't believe in Jesus, you are not a Muslim. So, since we believe in him, and if you knew his date of birth, why should we not commemorate Christmas? 